The Al-Qaeda insurgency in Yemen refers to the armed conflict between the Yemeni government with United States assistance, and Al-Qaeda-affiliated cells. The strife is often categorized as a sub-conflict in the greater global war on terror. Government crackdown against Al-Qaeda cells began in 2001, and reached an escalation point on January 14, 2010, when Yemen declared open war on Al-Qaeda. In addition to battling Al-Qaeda across several provinces, Yemen is also contending with Shia insurgency in the north and militant separatists in the south. Fighting with Al-Qaeda escalated during the course of the 2011 Yemeni revolution, with jihadists seizing most of the Abiyan governorate and declaring it an emirate at the close of March. A second wave of violence occurred throughout early 2012, with militants claiming territory across the southwest amid heavy combat with government forces. In May 2013, attackers blew up Yemen's main oil pipeline, halting the flow of crude oil. On the 19th of March 2015, the conflict escalated into a full-scale civil war. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. Yemen has come under pressure to act against al-Qaeda, since attacks on its two main allies, Saudi Arabia and the United States, by militants coming from Yemeni soil. Previous attacks linked to al-Qaeda in Yemen include the 2000 bombing of the USS Cole, the 2008 American embassy attack, and several attacks against foreign tourists. Yemen had already intensified operations against al-Qaeda in late 2009, when a Yemen-based wing of the group claimed to be behind the failed December 25, 2009 attempt to blow up a Detroit-bound U.S. airliner, itself a retaliation against an attack against a training camp in Abiyan on December 17, killing many civilians. News reports have indicated substantial American involvement in support of Yemeni operations against al-Qaeda since late 2009, including training, intelligence sharing, several dozen troops from the Joint Special Operations Command, and limited direct involvement in counterterrorism operations. Timeline Topic: Early Insurgency 1998 to 2002. Topic: Government Crackdown 2009-2010. In 2009, members of the British Special Air Service and the Special Reconnaissance Regiment were deployed to Yemen and Somalia to carry out operations against Islamist militants in both countries amid concerns that the countries were becoming alternative bases for the extremists. In Yemen they operate as part of a counter-terrorism training unit and assisting in missions to kill or capture AQAP leaders. Specifically, they were hunting down for the planners of the cargo planes bomb plot. The SAS was also liaising with local commandos and provided protection to embassy personnel. December 17, 2009, Yemeni ground forces carried out raids in Sana'a, arresting 13, Arhab, killing 4 and arresting 4, and attacked an alleged training camp in Al Mayala, Abiyan, killing 24 to 50, including 14 women and 21 children. According to ABC News, American cruise missiles were also part of the raids. The U.S. denied they were involved in the strikes, despite evidence from Amnesty International. December 24, U.S. drones or missiles struck an al-Qaeda meeting in Shabwa, killing some 30 individuals. One target of the strike was Anwar al-Awlaki. January 4, 2010, Yemeni security forces killed two alleged militants a day earlier north of the capital. January 6, Yemeni forces arrested three suspected al-Qaeda militants who were wounded in a raid, that was carried out by security forces. January 13, Yemeni army launches Operation Blow to the Head in Sada City, aimed at both Sunni al-Qaeda and Shia Houthi fighters, in which al-Qaeda leader Abdullah al-Medar was killed. January 14, a Yemen army air strike has killed at least six suspected al-Qaeda fighters in the north of the country, a Yemeni security official said. January 17, a radical Islamist Somali group claimed it was exchanging some of its fighters with those in Yemen. Yemeni militants are reportedly also sending fighters in return. This exchange in fighters shows the close links it has with the country of Yemen, an al-Shabaab spokesman said. 
January 20, the Yemeni Air Force bombed the home of a suspected al-Qaeda leader, Aid al-Shawani, who the military had claimed was dead a week before this bombing. January 21, in order to halt terrorist infiltration, Yemen decided to only issue visas through embassies, ceasing the practice of issuing visas to foreigners when they land at Yemeni airports. February 8, al-Qaeda leader said Ali al-Shiri released an online audio message calling for jihad in the Arabian Peninsula. First Battle of Ladar Between August 19–25, 2010, the Yemeni army launched a major offensive in the city of Ladar controlled by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Several militants including local leaders of al-Qaeda were killed during the clashes. On August 25 Yemeni authorities claimed to regain control of the southern town of Ladar, a great part of which was in the grip of suspected al-Qaeda militants during days of clashes with the army. <inaudible> <inaudible> Further attacks in Zinjibar On August 25, gunmen on motorcycles attacked a military patrol in Yemen's rest of south on Wednesday, killing four soldiers and wounding one, a security official said. The official said an early investigation indicated the attackers were members of al-Qaeda, which lately appears to have stepped up high-profile attacks in the south of this impoverished country. He did not provide details. The attack occurred in the Abiyan provincial capital of Zinjibar and brought to 53 the number of soldiers killed by al-Qaeda since May, the official said. He spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to talk to the media. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of Huda On 20 September a number of militants attacked and took control of the village of Hoda in the southern parts of the country, prompting the army to counterattack. This happened as the top U.S. counter-terrorism advisor John O. Brennan was on a visit to Yemen and discussed cooperation in the fight against al-Qaeda, according to the White House. Brennan met President Ali Abdullah Saleh and delivered a letter from Obama expressing U.S. support for a "...unified, stable, democratic and prosperous Yemen." National Security Council spokesman Mike Hammer said in a statement, "...President Saleh and Mr. Brennan discussed cooperation against the continuing threat of al-Qaeda, and Mr. Brennan conveyed the United States' condolences to the Yemeni people for the loss of Yemeni security officers and citizens killed in recent al-Qaeda attacks." Hammer said, al-Qaeda militants besieged in the southern Yemeni town of Hoda were reportedly using residents as human shields in the second major clash between them and troops in recent weeks. According to officials, al-Qaeda elements are preventing residents from leaving Hoda, to use them as human shields. On 24 September the government siege of al-Hoda ended after security forces took control of the town in the southern province of Shabwa. Revolution 2011 January 8, 2011, armed suspected al-Qaeda militants attacked a Yemeni army checkpoint in Lahj killing four soldiers a day after 12 soldiers were killed in an ambush in Ladar. March 6, 2011, armed suspected al-Qaeda gunmen shoot dead four soldiers from the elite Republican Guard as they passed in a truck near Marib. March 26, 2011, Al-Qaeda captured the town of Jar in the southern part of Yemen. March 27, 2011, Al-Qaeda militants captured the town of Al-Husn, the strategic mountain of Confer, and a weapons factory. Fighting in Jar captured the day prior as being reported. March 31, Al-Qaeda emirate in Yemen is declared. <laughs> Battle of Zinjibar. On 27 May 2011, about 300 Islamic militants attacked and captured the coastal city of Zinjibar population 20, During the takeover of the town, the militants killed seven soldiers, including a colonel, and one civilian. In the months that followed the militants entrenched themselves within the city as the army resorted to aerial bombardment and artillery attacks. The insurgents responded with daily bombings and suicide attacks. By the end of the year almost 800 had been killed in total, with casualties almost equal on both sides. 
On 4 March, militants launched an attack against an army artillery battalion on the outskirts of Zinjibar, overrunning it and killing 187 soldiers and wounding 135. 32 Al-Qaeda fighters were also killed during the fighting. The militants attacked the army base with booby-trapped vehicles and managed to capture armored vehicles, tanks, weapons and munitions. The military reported 55 soldiers were captured while the militant group claimed up to 73 were in fact taken prisoner. The assault started with a diversionary attack on one end of the base, with the main militant force attacking the other end of the compound. Several car bombs were detonated in front of the gates, after which the attackers entered the base, capturing heavy weapons and turning them against the soldiers. Reinforcements from other nearby military bases came too late due to a sandstorm. It was also revealed that previous military claims of taking back the city were untrue, with the militants still controlling most of Zinjibar and a few surrounding towns, namely Jar where they paraded the captured soldiers. In the days following the attack, the military conducted air strikes against militant positions around Zinjibar which they claimed killed 42 Al-Qaeda fighters. The Ansar al-Sharia group that took responsibility for the attack was believed to be just a rebranding of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, to make it more appealing to the devout rural population. Three days after the attack, the group led a Red Cross team into Jar to treat 12 wounded soldiers, and demanded a prisoner exchange with the government. After the beginning of fighting around the city of Ladar in early April 2011, violence escalated around Zinjibar as well. At least six militants and two Yemeni soldiers were killed in a shootout on 19 April. A major army operation followed in the end of the same month, with hundreds of troops advancing against militant positions in Abiyan province. Troops managed to reach the center of Zinjibar after several days of fighting, including an intense six-hour battle towards the end on April 25. Three militants had been killed on the 23rd, and at least 46 died in the province during the next two days, including 15 near Lodar. Government casualties were initially not released, while meanwhile leaflets and a video released by Ansar al-Sharia contained threats to kill the 85 captive Yemeni soldiers unless the government withdraws its forces. Many of the Islamist forces operating in Abiyan province refer to themselves as Ansar al-Sharia, partisans of Islamic law. Topic: Post Salah 2012-2013 On 14 January 2012, hundreds of people displaced by months of fighting were allowed to return to their homes in Zinjibar after a temporary deal was reached between insurgent forces and the army units. Locals described, "...widespread," destruction across the city and several mine fields that the army warned them about. According to reports, the militants held the western part of the city, while the east was controlled by government forces. Thousands of people previously held protests demanding an end to the fighting that has forced them to flee their homes in the south, holding several 50 kilometers 31 mile marches from the port city of Aden to Zinjibar. Estimates of the number of people displaced from the government operations against the militants had risen to nearly 97,000. Attacks continued during the next weeks, including a suicide bombing on 13 March near al Baida that killed four soldiers and left four other critically injured. After this attack militants posted a video in which they announced the capture of yet another soldier, bringing the total number of prisoners they hold to 74. They demanded an agreement to free imprisoned insurgents in exchange for the soldiers. On 31 March 2012 a large group of militants attacked an army checkpoint in Lahij Governorate during the night, sparking a battle that left 20 soldiers and four insurgents dead. The attackers fled with heavy weapons and at least two tanks. Government forces later called in airstrikes that successfully destroyed one of the captured tanks, killing its three occupants. On the 12th of December 2013, security officials say more than 40 people have been killed in sectarian clashes between Sunni Islamic militants and northern rebel forces belonging to a branch of Shiites in northern Yemen. The officials say the fighting began when ultra-conservative Salafis took over a Hadi stronghold in a strategic mountainous area near the border with Saudi Arabia. The two sides battled with artillery fire, mortar shells and machine guns in the town of Al-Faga. <inaudible> Second Battle of Lodar On 9 April a large group of militants attacked an army base near the city of Lodar and briefly overran it during a battle where locals had to join the military to help drive them out. 
There were at least 94 people killed in that initial attack, including six civilians, 74 insurgents and 14 soldiers. This was the third such assault in recent weeks, after two similar attacks in March left at least 130 soldiers dead and more than 70 as prisoners of al Qaeda affiliated groups. Government sources raised the casualty figures yet again on 10 April, bringing the total to 124 dead in two days including 102 militants, 14 soldiers, and at least eight civilians. Local tribal sources confirmed the toll, adding that among the dead insurgents there were at least 12 Somalis and a number of Saudis. Reinforcements were being brought into the area as Air Force planes began bombing insurgent positions near Lodar and on the main road towards Zinjibar. At least 51 deaths were recorded on of April, most of them Al-Qaeda-linked fighters. These included 42 militants, 6 soldiers and 3 local militia members. The government reportedly sent an elite anti-terrorism squad to help in defeating the militants. As of the 13th of April, the battle was still raging around the city with clashes spreading to nearby Mudia, the only other town apart from Lodar that insurgents do not control in the province. Mortar shelling was reported for the second consecutive day by local citizens with at least 17 civilians injured and the main power station reportedly on fire. After the government sent an additional 200 members of an anti-terrorism unit militants pulled out of the city and back towards the nearby villages of Um Sora and Wadia, leaving a few snipers behind. The official death toll on 13 April stood at 37, including 31 militants, five members of a tribal civilian militia and a child that was shot by an unidentified sniper. Authorities reported the city to be relatively quiet on Saturday, with only sporadic gunfire breaking the silence. On Sunday a suicide bomber killed two tribal militia members at a checkpoint in Al Hodn, just outside Ladar. Six militants and two locals were killed in other clashes around the town, specifically in an area called Al Minyasa. After a few quiet days, fighting resumed on 18 April, with militants shelling the city and government forces ordering air strikes in retaliation. Two children were killed and at least five houses were destroyed during the mortar attacks, while six militants were confirmed dead in the airstrikes. The previous day a suicide car bomber had attacked an army checkpoint on the outskirts of Lodar, killing five Yemeni soldiers and injuring four more. On 19 April at least seven militants were killed after clashes with an army unit based in Lodar. Two days later Yemeni airplanes bombed militant positions in nearby Jebel Yasif and Al Minyasa, killing at least 13 fighters. On April 25 at least six militants were killed after their convoy was ambushed by local militia members. Fifteen insurgents were killed two days earlier after a similar incident. Fighting around the city on April 30 killed 12 militants, a soldier and a tribal militia member. Meanwhile, insurgents continued their attacks across the country, as an army checkpoint near Aden was assaulted by a group of armed men in pickup trucks. In the ensuing gun battle at least eight attackers and four Yemeni soldiers were killed, while three Al-Qaeda fighters and one security force member were wounded. Additionally, militants kidnapped a senior intelligence officer and two soldiers in the town of Rada south of the capital Sana'a. The town was briefly lost to the terrorist groups in January, before being taken back by government forces a few weeks later. By May 16, Yemen troops backed pro government tribal militias captured the Yasof Mountain, a strategic force above the city, after heavy fighting. After doing so, it was announced that the militants had fled Lauder. <laughs> Sana'a bombing On 21 May 2012, a soldier detonated a suicide bomb in a crowd of military personnel at the beginning of a rehearsal for a Unity Day parade in Sana'a. The bomb killed 96 and wounded more than 200, making it the deadliest attack in Yemen's history. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula claimed responsibility and described it as revenge for the continued offensive by the Central Security Organization. Topic 2013. In May, attackers blew up Yemen's main oil pipeline, halting the flow of crude oil. In late May, Long War Journal reported that AQAP had been active in Hadramaut Governorate over the past several months, and that on the 24th of May, they took seized control of villages near the Yemeni port city of Mukalla in what an apparent bid to take over swathes of Hadramaut Governorate. 
The Interior Ministry said the seizure was a terrorist plot to proclaim an Islamic emirate in the Gail Bawazir area. Residents of Gail Bawazir said that the jihadists had taken advantage of an absence of security forces from the area to deploy in strength and had already distributed leaflets declaring their rule. The Long War Journal reported that on December 6, AQAP militants assaulted the Ministry of Defense building in Sana'a in what it claimed was an effort to strike at the U.S. drone program. 52 people were killed, including seven foreign nationals. Nationals, two German and two Vietnamese doctors and one Indian and two Filipino nurses and 11 AQAP fighters. Topic 2014 In 2014, AQAP claimed responsibility for over 150 attacks in Yemen, using tactics such as IEDs, suicide bombings, and small arms attacks, targeting both Houthis and Yemeni military and government institutions, including military bases, the presidential palace in Sana'a, military checkpoints and vehicles, and the police academy in Sana'a, killing over 75 Yemeni government or military personnel. By early January, AQAP had regrouped in Hadramaut Governorate and other provinces provinces after losing control of major cities in Abiyan and Shabwa provinces to government forces starting in late spring 2012. Hadramaut was the ancestral home of Osama bin Laden, and the province has become an AQAP stronghold over the past several years. On 16 January, Al-Qaeda militants killed ten Yemeni soldiers in three simultaneous attacks on army positions in al-Baida governorate. Eight extremists were also killed in the assaults, which prompted further clashes with the army. Al-Qaeda assailants carried out simultaneous attacks against three military positions in Rada in Beta, an extremist stronghold, the official said. On 24 March, Al-Qaeda militants attacked a military checkpoint near Raida in the province of Hadramaut, located 135 kilometers 85 miles east of the provincial capital Mukalla. Twenty soldiers were killed as a result. On 29 April, the BBC reported that the Yemeni military, with tribal leaders and locals, had launched an offensive against AQAP militants in Abiyan and Shabwa provinces. Sabah News Agency described the extensive. The areas targeted included Abiyan's Al Mafad district and Azan in Shabwa. Security sources told the Associated Press news agency that eight suspected AQAP militants and three soldiers were killed in the offensive. Another report said 15 soldiers were killed in Shabwa province in a suspected ambush by AQAP fighters. Yemeni officials earlier in the month said that as many as 55 militants died in a government air campaign over Shabwa, Abiyan, and the nearby province of Beida. In July 2014, AQAP declared plans to establish an Islamic emirate in Hadramaut province, ordering men and women to obey its strict interpretation of Islamic law. On 17 August, six suspected al Qaeda militants and three Yemeni soldiers died in clashes in the southeastern Hadramaut province, which became scene of many recent attacks on the army. On 31 August, at least 11 Yemeni soldiers have been killed and 17 others injured by suspected al Qaeda militants in three separate attacks in the southern part of the country. On 25 November, Yemeni special forces supported by U.S. special forces rescued eight hostages, killed seven militants, and a member of the Yemeni forces wounded in a rescue mission. On 31 December, a suicide bomber detonated explosives outside a cultural center during celebrations of the Prophet Muhammad's birthday, killing 23 people. Topic 2015. On the 7th of January 2015, a large car bomb detonated outside a police academy in Sana'a, Yemen. The attack killed at least 38 and wounded over 90. In mid-January 2015, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant declared it had established a branch inside Yemen the previous month, and that they were recruiting fighters, bringing them into competition against AQAP. Topic: <laughs> Mukalla. Al-Qaeda scored a major victory on 2 April 2015, taking advantage of chaos created by a full-scale conflict in southwestern Yemen and foreign airstrikes elsewhere in the country to capture the city of Mukalla from government forces. Al-Qaeda militants freed some 300 inmates from a jail in the city. The New York Times reported, Al-Qaeda's strongest opponents, the Houthis and Yemen's American-trained counter-terrorism troops, have been busy fending off attacks from the Saudi military. Topic 
U.S. and U.K. withdrawal The United States and the United Kingdom withdrew their forces in March 2015. 2016 In February 2016 Al-Qaeda forces and Saudi-led coalition forces were both seen fighting Houthi rebels in the same battle. In April 2016, it was reported that MI6 teams with members of the Special Reconnaissance Regiment seconded to them had been operating in Yemen, training Yemen forces fighting AQAP and identifying targets for drone strikes. On May 6, 2016, it was reported that a small number of US military personnel had been deployed to Yemen 2 weeks previously to support Arab forces fighting AQAP in the country. They have been supporting Yemeni and Emirati forces fighting in Mukalla by planning operations and providing other assistance. The U.S. has also staged over 2,000 to 4,500 U.S. Marines of the 13th MEU offshore in a flotilla that includes the USS Boxer, supported by the USS Gravely and the USS Gonzalez. On January 29, 2017, The New York Times reported that SEALs from SEAL Team 6 carried out a surprise dawn attack on an AQAP headquarters in Beta Province that a senior American official said counterterrorism officials had deemed valuable enough to warrant a ground operation rather than an airstrike. The raid lasted a little less than an hour, one American commando was killed and three others were injured, an estimated 14 Qaeda fighters were killed in the raid, which according to the statement, led to the capture of information that will likely provide insight into the planning of future terror plots. A senior American official said a MV-22 Osprey that was sent to evacuate the wounded troops in the raid crash landed nearby, leaving two more service members injured and was unable to fly after the landing therefore it was intentionally destroyed by American air strikes. In April, 2017, the leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula AQAP, Qasim al rami issued a statement that his terrorist organization will keep fighting the Houthi Shia in Yemen. al rami also said he is ready to make truce with Yemen President Hadi government and to set for negotiations but with conditions. Both Al-Qaeda and ISIS are fighting the Houthi rebels in Yemen. On August 6, 2017, the New York Times reported that, about 2,000 Yemeni troops, supported by dozens of advisors from the United Arab Emirates and a handful of U.S. Special Forces personnel providing intelligence and planning assistance, launched an offensive against AQAP militants occupying parts of Shabwa province the preceding week. In addition the U.S. is providing air-to-air -air refueling and aerial reconnaissance for forces involved in the operation. Topic 2018. On the 22nd of July, a suspected U.S. drone strike kills four alleged Al Qaeda militants in Marib. In August 2018, Al Jazeera reported that a Saudi Arabian-led coalition battling Houthi rebels secured secret deals with Al Qaeda in Yemen and recruited hundreds of the group's fighters. An investigation by the Associated Press found the coalition has been paying some al-Qaeda commanders to leave key cities and towns while letting others retreat with weapons, equipment, and wads of looted cash. Key figures in the deal-making said the United States was aware of the arrangements and held off on drone attacks against the armed group, which was created by Osama bin Laden in 1988. 2018. U.S. drone and cruise missile attacks The U.S. first said it used targeted killing in November 2002, with the cooperation and approval of the government of Yemen. A CIA-controlled high-altitude Predator drone fired a Hellfire missile at an SUV in the Yemeni desert containing QAED Salim Sinan al-Harithi, a Yemeni-suspected senior al-Qaeda lieutenant believed to have been the mastermind behind the October 2000 USS Cole bombing that killed 17 Americans. He was on a list of targets whose capture or death had been called for by President George W. Bush. 
In addition to al Harithi, five other occupants of the SUV were killed, all of whom were suspected al Qaeda members, and one of whom Kamal Derwish was an American. In May 2010, an errant U.S. drone attack targeting al Qaeda members in Wadi Abida, Yemen killed five people, including Jaber al Shawani, deputy governor of Marib province. According to The Times, in 2010 the United States, in cooperation with Yemeni officials, launched four cruise missiles at suspected terrorist targets in Yemen. According to The Times, Yemen asked the United States to suspend the strikes after one of the missiles killed a pro Yemeni tribal leader, Sheikh Jaber al Shawani, the deputy governor of Marib province, resulting in his tribe turning against the Yemeni government. The Times also stated that U.S. Special Forces troops were on the ground in Yemen helping to hunt al Qaeda operatives. On 3 June 2011, American manned jets or drones attacked and killed Abu Ali al Harithi, a mid level al Qaeda operative, as well as several other militant suspects in a strike in southern Yemen. Four civilians were also reportedly killed in the strike. The strike was reportedly coordinated by American Special Forces and CIA operatives based in Sana'a. According to the Associated Press, in 2011 the U.S. government began building an airbase in the Middle East from which the CIA and U.S. military plans to operate drones over Yemen. On September 30, 2011, Anwar al Awlaki was targeted by a U.S. drone strike which successfully killed him, Samir Khan and a few other militants while they were all in the same car driving to get breakfast. Suspected U.S. drone strikes killed at least nine militants on 16 and 18 April 2012, in some of the first such operations in months. The two strikes were in Shabwa and Abiyan provinces, which were partially or mostly under the control of the insurgents. In March 2016, the U.S. military conducted an airstrike using jet fighters and drones in Yemen, killing 70 AQAP members. Since April 23, 2016, the U.S. carried out a further four airstrikes, killing a further 10 and injuring one al Qaeda operative. The strike on April 23 killed two AQAP operatives in Entral Yemen's Marib Governorate. On May 19, 2016, a U.S. strike killed four militants in the Shabwa Governorate area of Yemen. On June 3, 2016, a CENTCOM spokesman said that the U.S. military has conducted nine airstrikes against al Qaeda militants in Yemen this year, killing 108 operatives. On June 17, the Pentagon announced that it had conducted three counter terror airstrikes in Yemen between June 8 and June 12. On July 1, 2016, two al Qaeda operatives and another two were killed on July 4 in Shabwa province by U.S. airstrikes. On July 8, an airstrike killed an AQAP operative in central Yemen. On July 16, airstrike killed six more AQAP fighters, and on August 4, a U.S. airstrike killed three AQAP operatives in Shawa Governorate. The BBC reported that between 24 August and 4 September the U.S. carried out three strikes in Shawa province that killed 13 AQAP militants. On December 23, 2016, Stars and Stripes reported that 28 AQAP fighters were killed in nine airstrikes across Yemen. September 23, in Marib Governorate near al Baida, four killed. September 29, in al Baida Governorate, two killed. October 6, in Shawa Governorate, 2 killed. October 18, in Shawa, 6 killed. October 21, in Marib Governorate killed Abu Hadi al-Bayhani, a senior AQAP leader and four others. November 20, in al Baida, 1 killed. November 24, in al Baida, 2 killed. November 30, in Hadramat Governorate, 3 killed. December 13, in Marib, three killed. On January 13, 2017, Abd al Ghani al Rasas, a senior al Qaeda leader, was killed in a U.S. airstrike in a remote area of al Baida Governorate. CENTCOM released a statement saying that on January 20, a strike killed an AQAP operative in al Baida Governorate. On January 21, another strike killed three AQAP operatives, and on January 22, a strike killed an AQAP operative, also in the al Baida Governorate. On March 2, 2017, various news outlets reported that the U.S. manned and unmanned aircraft conducted over 20 airstrikes, with further airstrikes on March 3, bringing the total number of airstrikes to over 30. 
A Pentagon spokesman said the airstrikes were conducted in partnership with the government of Yemen and were coordinated. CNN reported that the airstrikes took place Abiyan, Shabwa, and Beta regions on AQAP militants, equipment, infrastructure, heavy weapons systems, and fighting positions. A U.S. defense official told CNN that the strikes had been planned for some time and were not the result of intelligence the U.S. obtained from the January operation. On April 3, 2017, it was reported that the U.S. conducted around 20 air strikes against AQAP terrorists in Shawa Governorate in recent days. Bringing the total number of airstrikes against AQAP to more than 70 since February 28, 2017. Pentagon spokesman Captain Jeff Davis told reporters that the strikes targeted the terrorists' equipment, fighting positions and infrastructure. On April 24, Department of Defense reported that a strike against eight AQAP terrorists in Shabwa Governorate brought the total number of precision strikes on AQAP targets since February 28 to over 80. <laughs> <laughs> Ukraine 